name is Seoul Tae. I'm from Incheon, Korea. Our 23 major foreign language high school students came here to experience American culture. And today, we are going to introduce to you our school and Korea. Let me introduce about our school. I will divide it into four parts, the language department of our school, events, dormitory life, and the features of our school. Our school was founded and opened in 2010. This is our school motto, and these are the school mascot, tree, and the school flower. Our school is divided into four language departments. There are 200 students total, divided into eight classes. Three, major, three English major classes, two Chinese major classes, two Japanese major classes, and one French major class. The English major students learn French as their second language, and other majors learn English as their second language. The students also learn math, science, and other subjects. Now, I'll tell you our school schedules. Our classes start at 7 a.m. and end at 5 p.m. We have an hour for lunch and an hour and a half for dinner. Then after school is out, we have self-study time in study room, like your seminar, until 12 a.m. with a half hour for snack time. Then at midnight, we go back to our dorms. Next, I will show you some pictures of our school events. These are the pictures of our intramural athletic meeting that happens once a year. We had lots of competitions such as soccer, kickball, rope skipping, an obstacle race, a relay race, and so on. It was really interesting and it made us bond together. <coughs> These are the pictures of our school festival. Our school has many clubs and every free time, like lunchtime or dinner time, students do club activities. It was the day that every club performs what they had been preparing for a few months, like dancing, singing, acting, and traditional music. It is always very fun. Next, I will tell you about our dormitory life. We live in a dormitory that is right next to the school. The picture you see is the entrance of the dormitory. And these pictures are the rooms, the laundry room, a refrigerator, and a bench. This picture shows the laundry service, which is a fancy. Our school does the students' laundry, such as school uniforms and PE clothes. This picture shows my friends in the dormitories with their roommates. It's easy to make friends in the dorms. These are the pictures of students going home. At the beginning of the year, many students missed their families and wanted to go back home because they had trouble adjusting to the new atmosphere. Now, most of us feel comfortable in our school life and new friendships. This is some features of our school. Unlike your school, MCH has cleaning time. We have to clean up our classrooms and hallways by ourselves every day at 3 p.m. for about 20 minutes, but we have music to listen to every cleaning time. This is a picture of the study room that we self-study after our classes are out. All students have their own seat and we can concentrate in this room with a quiet atmosphere. <coughs> Lastly, this is a video clip about each major of our school.
in character with his creator, the date of proclamation and principles of invention are known in the world. The book which contains original form of Hangul was listed as a UNESCO World Heritage in 1997. King Sejong the Great um, <coughs> Hangul consists of 14 consonants and 10 basic vowels. Uh, the main and major consonants are Kyo, Nien, Bium, Siu, Nien, and other letters are made beyond these five letters. Um, consonants imitate the shape of vocal organs such as neck, mouth, and tongue. Also, when the inventors made Hakka, they considered the relationship between the sound and the letters. These are the main reasons why Hakka is called as a scientific letter. Both are made with only these three layers, each of them means sky, land, and human. They contain the main spirit of Korea. All vowels can be made with these letters. This trick works well on cellular phone. It needs only three keypads to type any kind of vowel. Uh, let's see how good these are the examples, how the consonants and vowels can be written. Uh, let's see the words. Uh, first one, when you see the word, you can see three consonants and two vowels. Those are kyo, a, piu, a, iu. This, that means backpack. And the second word is, has two consonants and two vowels. Those are piu, a, piu, o. Do you know what the second word means? <laughs> the word is stupid. <laughs> <laughs>